Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Filippo Mazzei, the scion of a very old family, but you may call me Philip. I was born in Tuscany, near Florence. I studied medicine, and my early professional travels took me far from home. The year 1754 was an interesting one for me. I became the Grand Duke of Tuscany's business emissary to London. His Highness was interested in an American invention, namely Benjamin Franklin's revolutionary stove. At the court of St. James's, I met Ben Franklin and John Quincy Adams. After a long ocean voyage, I arrived in Virginia. My journey to the American colonies was commercial in nature. I loaded my ship with olive trees, grapevines, some farmers, and my tailor. Through my friend Adams's good graces, I met General Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson was my host in Virginia. He allotted me part of his Monticello estate, which I rebaptized Il Colle. I planted my Tuscan vines in New World soil. My part in the American Revolution was to write treatises in which I denounced British domination of the colonies for all the world to hear. In all modesty, my phrase all men are by nature equally free and independent, is echoed in the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In 1785, I traveled to Paris and found myself in the thick of yet another revolution. It was there that I first established contact with His Majesty King Stanislaus of Poland. And so I've returned to my native land and resumed my study of viticulture. What joy to be remembered This wine is supple, soft, with silky tannins, and an intriguing touch of complex, exotic character. It is the quintessence of Tuscany. Philip embodies the new world spirit of Tuscan winemaking and expresses the desire to pursue life, liberty, and happiness.